the offensive line. Can't say enough about the way we we ran the football. Yeah, can you? I didn't write down the start. Can you take me through those five guys up front? Sure. Well, it starts with our tight ends because they're as critical as anything. That Jordan Voitis and and uh, Alex Hubble at tight end. But we had a, a first uh, year starter at center, a sophomore, uh, Nicholas Bylas, and then we had Dan Creedsulis and Nick Sazonski at guard. And then we had George Debo and Matt Schreiner tackle. We actually had a starting tackle out, and uh, we had a starting linebacker fullback out. Uh, and so, but we were able to plug some guys in, and still, and, you know, we made enough plays in the passing game, calling extended some plays, used his arm. Receivers came up with a couple of real big catches, no bigger than the one Jerry made there at the end. And uh, that was that was what we needed uh, to offset. You know, they were filling the box because obviously we were running it pretty well. Jerry, I think, was open that entire play. I think he got uh, behind him. The whole they lined up on us, but they never thought we'd throw it. I mean, they didn't even run with us. He was just like, hey, yeah. <laughs> I'm open. So tell me about Lama's performance. He can run the zone, run the ISOs, run the yeah. snaps. I mean, tell me about what his approach was today. Well, his approach is just guts. You know, he just he runs so hard. He trains hard. Everything he does is all out. And so um, guys are inspired to block for him because they know he's going to give it everything he has. Uh, most of the time it was off tackle. A little bit of inside zone, ISO, and a little bit of outside, just enough. But most of the time we're gapping down and kicking out. Um, Colin May, he, he, he looked okay through the first three quarters, but I thought in the fourth quarter he really made some big plays. Played like a senior. Yeah. Played like a three-year starter. Did some things that he had to do for us to uh, get the win, to be honest with you. The way it ended there, if we don't make those plays on offense, uh, you know, we might be on the other end of it. But that's what we expect out of him. Coach, tell me a little about their big plays. How did those happen and uh, what was going on? Well, the first half, I mean, uh, we missed six tackles on that. That kid's going to be something special, that, that freshman. We missed too many tackles on him. The second one was a tip. The kid was right there to catch it. Uh, then, but then they, they did a little bit in the passing game. Just a blown assignment at the end there. I mean, but give them credit. I mean, they, they did some good things. The quarterback is athletic. We just couldn't contain him in there enough. And he made some good decisions when he had to stay in there and throw it. So... They had a good game plan. They executed pretty well. We didn't ask about the, the kickoff return. I think that, that was really That crazy. was nice. That was real nice. You know, um, something we work on a lot. Uh, Troy Connie had a little burst of speed there. They they it, was, catch him. it was pretty well blocked. It was very well blocked. They, they kicked it right where they, we wanted them to. And we had a, a good double team in and a good kick out out. And there was a nice team up our sideline. And, and uh you know, lastly, I just want to say that the uh, the sweater vest and the shirt and ties is, of course, uh, in honor of my favorite coach, Jim Trestle. I don't know if I'll wear this every week, <laughs> but uh, tonight this was for him. I was uh, just about to ask you yeah. about that. I figured if anybody was going to wear it. Yeah, man. I see Nick Cochran wore it, but he's at Akron Manchester. Nobody's.